I'll just use the parameterize tool and select the objects that I want to parameterize. And I should have pulled it up before, but if we looked at the, the browser, the mechanical browser, um, you would see there that there was nothing in here before I did the parameterize. It was just dumb solids, just traditional solids that I've created for years and years and years, right? But it automatically analyzed all of that, found things that are similar, and it created all these parameters for me. If I right-click on those, I can animate. I could select several of them and animate them. Or in this case, I just right-clicked on one and chose animate. So I can see if, if the names aren't that meaningful to me, I can see what exactly it's controlling. Now, I can come up here and edit them to give them more meaningful names. So for example, I'm going to call this one depth. And this one is the height. And I could, again, I could animate all of them if I was unsure what they were. And this one I'll call width. Oops. OK, so very easy. And if you want to remove some of these, maybe some of the ones that it, it added because it took its best guess if, they're, guess, if they're not right, you can remove those and add other ones that you do want. Or if you continue to add geometry to this, add more geometry, you want to make the shelves more complicated, you can add that and then add your own um, per parameters. But in this case, I just did it very quickly. I don't really know anything except the parameterized command, and I just took all the defaults and renamed a couple things. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. <clears throat> and I'll just save it to a different file so I don't override my original one. So I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, bm insert command and select that shell, the um, shelf that I just parameterized. So, wow, what about that? Darn it. Look at that. It's like a Barbie, Barbie shelf. <laughs> That's OK, though, because it's all parameterized. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And uh, looking over here, now if we look at the properties for it, we can see I've got the length. Oh, I must not have saved it. The, the depth, the height, and the width. Uh, so I'm going to change that. I want the height to be closer, sorry, these are um, US units. Um, so I want it to be closer to maybe 80, that's inches. Um, but you know what? This could have been metric. This was for a Barbie house in millimeters. It doesn't matter. It really didn't matter what units it was in, because I'm just entering values over here. So that made it really tall. Uh, how the length of it, or that was the depth. I'm going to give it, say, 24. And it's looking a little crazy, but it's doing exactly what I want it to do. And the width, I'll say 110. OK, so it's adjusting that. And if I zoom out, you can see that. It's looking a little bit more appropriate for my space. And um, now I'm going to adjust some of these other parameters, like the distance between the shelves. OK, so just that easy, I can start modifying this. And I can change it to be what I want to design without having to re remodel anything. I'll change a few more things, maybe make the, the height of the individual shelves 0.5, half an inch, and then well, we'll just get really wide here for the other side so you can see the difference. But I can go in here as much as I want and change those parameters, and I'm actually changing my design without having to redefine or remodel the geometry.